so in example 10 here, we're looking at the definition of the class width, and we're going to figure out how to find it from a table that's already been created. So the class width is the difference between two consecutive lower class limits or two consecutive lower class boundaries. And it says, for example 10, to find the class width for the hip to waist ratio example that we just looked at. Okay, so here's that example we were just looking at, and in order to find the class width, all we have to do here is to subtract any two lower class limits or lower class boundaries, and that would also work for the upper class limits, any two consecutive ones, they all have the same difference, and that difference is the class width. So, for example, if I took the first pair of lower class limits, 0.56, and I subtracted off 0.56, Five, two, we get the difference or the common difference of 0 0.04 and you find that difference here as well between 60 and 6.60 6 sorry and 0.64 you find it here between 0.75 and 0.79 and all the way throughout the table any two consecutive pairs of either lower class limits or upper class limits have that common difference that's also true for the class boundaries it's also true for the class midpoints we saw that the common difference is also the same throughout that common difference is referred to as the class width. Now this is finding class width when the table's already been created for you. So somebody else came up with what the class width should be here, and all we're doing is identifying what they chose. So we can pick any two consecutive lower class limits. So for example, 0.76 minus 0.72 will also produce that same 0.04. And then we can identify what the class width is for the table. Later on, we'll be looking at problems where we have to come up with that class width ourselves where we're not just looking at someone else's work and deciding what they used. And when we do that, it's a little bit different. But for this problem, since the table's already created for us, we just have to look at the two consecutive either lower class limits or upper class limits, and we can identify what width was used to create the table.